Sending an Interact e-transfer or email money transfer can actually be pretty easy, but it sometimes takes a little bit of practice, and some banks have it easier than others. I like TD Bank. It's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, RBC, or Royal Bank, is a little more complicated, so let's go through it right now. The first thing you want to do is go to the website and click on it. Now you're going to see a bunch of options. In the upper right-hand corner, right-click on Sign In. Now, I'm assuming you're already a RBC, or Royal Bank of Canada, customer, and if so, enter in your debit card information here. You'll notice I've blurred it out. That's because I don't want to share my sensitive information. And uh, now you have to left-click on the next white box, which is your password, and enter in your password. If you don't know it, I would say just give Royal Bank a call. And if you don't have their number, just Google Royal Bank of Canada 1-800. So once you're in the main page, we're at Account Summary. Over on the right, you see Quick Payments and Transfers. Now, the first thing you want to do if you've never sent an Interact e-transfer before is you want to add a person. You need to add a person before you send money. And so you want to click left click on Interact e-transfer. Okay, so left click on Interact e-transfer and that should take you to this page. If it doesn't take you to this page, over on the left hand side you'll see Add Interact e-transfer recipient. Left click there and you'll come to this window. Now simply add in the person's name, email address, and phone number just by left clicking on the boxes. Fill in all the information, and then once done, you can read the important information if you'd like, then click continue. Then it's going to ask you to confirm. I won't be confirming this time because this was just a test that I'm showing you. Once you're done, you're back at this page, and it can be a little confusing. So all you have to do once you've added somebody for e-transfer is left click on account summary. You can see that right where the blue arrow is. Now you're all set. Now you simply scroll down, find the person uh, by name, left click on their name, and then type in how much money you would like to send and you'll be good. Make sure you put a decimal point so you're sending the right amount of money. So I'm just sending five dollars for this test. I'm left clicking on submit and then it's going to give me all of the information of the person. I left click on next. It's going to ask me to review all the information. And if I want to send a message, I can send a message to that person so they know specifically why I'm sending them money. And then left click on the send button and you're done. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like in your email when someone sends you money. So you see you get this email here that says interact e-transfer, left click on that. And you have the options of depositing uh, or selecting another financial institution. So I'm going to left click on RBC. And again, it's going to ask you to enter in your debit card information so you can sign back in. Now, one word of warning when you get an email that says Interact e transfer and you're not sure why you're receiving that, it could be a scammer. So always, always, always contact the person who is sending you money to just confirm they've sent it to you. Most of the scams go into your spam folder, so you shouldn't see it, but just in case, always call the person, contact the person before clicking on the email. And now I'm going to enter in the password that they sent. And then I'm going to click uh, continue. And now I get to choose which account I want to put it in. So I'm going to put it in my checking just by left clicking on that option. And then I'm going to click submit. And now I can enter in some information about what this money is for my own records. And left click confirm. Now I can also set up auto deposit and that means I don't have to enter in a password in the future. The money just goes right into my account. That's your option. If you're wondering about securities, I would contact Royal Bank for more information. And that's all there is to it. It might seem a little bit uh, complicated, but after a little bit of practice, you'll be surprised how quickly you're going to get it. And in the end, just sign out.